Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts Fest growing gear sight on the web. And today we're gonna uncrate the Scorpion Claw 2. Before we jump in and tell you all about this Scorpion Claw 2 glove, go ahead and subscribe for me. That helps us keep bringing you the best gear reviews in the whole universe, of course. And if you decide you'd like to purchase a set of gloves from the folks here at speedaddicts.com, we'd be stoked on that as well. We also make it really easy. There's a link in the description below to shop for these Scorpion Claw 2 gloves or any other parts or gear you might need for your next two-wheel adventure. So Scorpion, one of the leaders in street and sport riding gear. The Claw is a sport shorty glove with plenty of armor. There are multiple colorways available. We got the white and black here on my hands. And the price tag, not bad for a genuine goat leather glove coming in at 54 bucks. So it's it's a real steal considering what you're getting, the level of armor and craftsmanship here, all for $54. So size range, let's talk about the fitment. Scorpion gloves really run true across the board. So you're gonna find a Scorpion sizing chart at Speed Addicts. All you need to do is measure the circumference of your palm. Now to do that, if you don't have a flexible measuring tape, like a tailor's tape, I recommend using a piece of string, wrap that around the thickest part of your palm, laid out next to a ruler or a uh, traditional measuring tape. Get that number. I'm nine inches circumference. Sizing chart recommends extra large for me. And these extra large Claw 2s fit excellent. When it comes to leather gloves, <clears throat> goat skin's great about breaking. It's actually better than bovine or cow leather. The stretch in goat leather gloves is excellent. So you want them to fit a little bit tight out of the box because you don't want them to break in and get sloppy and bunch on you. So count on them fitting a little snug out of the gate and allowing for a little bit of that break in. You're gonna see sizes small all the way up to three extra large as well as women's sizing. So they're running the whole gambit. They should have you covered. Now, when it comes to fitment, remember if you buy your gear at Speed Addicts, you got no cost return. So to qualify, all you have to do is live in the lower 48 states, make sure the gear's brand new with all the original packaging, and you can get a free return label to exchange or get a refund on any gear you buy here at speedaxe.com. Give us a shot and we'll make sure to treat you like family. Okay, back to the claw two. We're gonna start on the back side of this glove. You're gonna notice a couple thermoplastic rubber guards across the top of your fingers. They've left the pinky out, but the other three do have these little armor protectors here. As we move down the finger, you're gonna notice these accordion stretch panels to give it a nice uh, range of motion right out of the packaging. They are pre-curved to grab onto those handlebars, but these uh, accordion stretch panels also help. The tips of the fingers are perforated, so these will flow a decent amount of air these are not necessarily like hot weather or cold weather gloves. They're somewhere in between. You can probably get by in a lot of conditions in the claw too. As we move back to the knuckle, they have a really chunky uh, thermo rubber here on across the knuckle. It's not a hard plastic. It's not a soft rubber. It's kind of somewhere in between. I'm not so sure I dig the shape, but as far as the fit, feel, and the protection level, well, they got you covered there. That's gonna provide impact and slide protection should you put the claw twos to the test. When we move back, you see that they do have a gusset here to allow that knuckle protection to move with your knuckles as you grab onto the handlebars. It's nice that they put that back here. And then you get a few more of those thermoplastic rubber patches across the back of your hand. As we move down into the cuff, this is a shorty, so it is pretty short. Um, it's not. It's not extremely short, it's kind of mid-short, we'll call it. And then it has a, an accordion uh, neoprene stretch panel in the back of the hand. This is really helpful, especially, especially on the throttle side because it's gonna move against your wrist and it's gonna give and flex. So if you're putting a lot of miles down, that will pay dividends. As we move over to the thumb, you notice we have a couple patches uh, and foam, um, foam in these leather patches across your thumb for added protection, more perforation across the thumb for added airflow. And now we're gonna move over to the palm. The first thing you're gonna notice, no touchscreen compatibility. So you're gonna have to remove these if you're gonna work the little smartphone. In the palm here, we do have an abrasion zone that's all double stitched. This is a uh, more of a suede feel to it, help you grip the bars and protect your hand in case of a slide. The rest of this whole palm, like the rest of the chassis of the glove, is that genuine goat leather. As we move to the carpal bone protection, you have two very robust foam pads, one at the base of your thumb and then one on the back side. This is kind of the key to victory here. Usually if you come off a bike and you slap that part of your palm, there's a lot of delicate carpal bones in your hand that you wanna protect. That's what this is meant to do for you. The protection on this panel does run up across your pinky. You see this on a lot of sport gloves because that pinky is vulnerable 
Of course, this is all stitched up double, double time to uh, hold up in case of an accident there. You're gonna get a one year warranty from Scorpion XO on these Claw 2 gloves, and that about does it. If there's a question I didn't answer for you, well, don't worry. Rider Support is standing by at speedaddicts.com. You can talk to a human over there over the phone, live chat, or email. And if you already got a set of the Claw 2s, let us know how you like them in the comment section below. We're always happy to hear from you or take your questions right there on the YouTube channel. Thanks, y'all, for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate. Thank <laughs> you.